Yeah, my wife doesn't know that I'm pumping out my hair. I'm just combing out my dreads. Oh no, my love. Mm, poor curls. You look like electrocuted. <laughs> I don't want to like be too sad about it because uh, I know that I've had a long and good run with this dreads. Welcome back to another video! Let's go! I'm Activers Universe today! It's a new day! Let's go. And we got a what? We got seen this man get y'all a close-up look on this lock life man Loki's a dream is a dream 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 but guys today I'm gonna be doing some some weird man I don't think I've ever done this or try to attempt it big fella don't play with fire man don't play with fire man or even thought about it to look, oh, actually, no, I never thought. I don't really think about this, but also, y'all are ready to judge. It's, it's your time to shine now. <laughs> now it's your time to shine. You've been waiting for a long time, you hater. Yup, and for those that are supporting me, I thank y'all, man. I've been getting so much love, people ordering the jewelries and, and everything, man. And for those of you guys that wanted to get the jewelry, just 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 go to the description, man. That's all I can tell you. But guys, I'm so excited that I have the Activerse mask now. So make sure you go check them out. Uh, get you one. I have a few left. I promise you, I have literally few left. And so get it before it goes out. If not, I may do another one. But this is like one of the like here and there type of thing. So it might not be a consistently available thing. So go get it before it goes out. It's a really dope mask. I uh, appreciate everybody that been ordering for me. Man, yeah. Y'all just tremendously amazing, man. But now y'all be dripping like me, you know what I'm saying? You got the Saints Cross, you got the, you know, Activerse Peace. Uh, well, Silver Peace, that's what it's called. The Saints Cross and then the Activerse, the Activerse Cross, where is that at? Right here. Which is like my signature, I always put it down here. I always put it in my hair, down like that, and then I put it right there. It's almost by my chest, by my heart. But guys, before we get into the video, you know what we do? Here it is. Intro! Intro! Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Before you comb out your dreads, you always need a, a pick. You know what I'm saying? A really nice pick. Water bottle spray. I got it from Grillax.com. A while back, actually. Actually, I got it from my wife since she likes to use you know water and stuff like that for her hair i don't really use this anymore back then when i do when i did two strand twist and you know different hairstyles i used to use a sprayer bottle but i really recommend this because it's just like once you like press it it just keeps going like it may not seem a lot in there but it was actually a lot that came out from it and i have this comb that i copped also from amazon link should be in the description if you guys want to check that out it's actually a metal comb so the whole thing is metal i know my my hair is rough so i was like the only way i can comb my hair out is if i get a metal comb i have a different comb like this which i usually use for my beard i mean you can use this too but i feel like it's just gonna be bending and you know doing all that nonsense i shouldn't be doing even with this hair it bends so <laughs> nevertheless dreads i have forgot to mention that i'm gonna be finding a congo in my hair and i'm gonna be combing that out so instead of you know combing out a regular dreads i'm gonna actually comb out a congo that is connected together and then i'm gonna do something at the end of it but you want to want to sit down and see what's going to happen at the end you some of y'all may not like it but it's actually came out pretty good i've always said guys this is my favorite hairstyle and that's why you guys see me a lot of times with you know half of it up half of it down so the back is down the front is up uh, just because I don't like it to get in my face and my eyes and stuff like that. I don't know. You guys may like it how how you know down it is for you guys, like how much you depending on like if it frustrates you guys or not. But to me, it's just like when I eat, you know, my my hair comes to my face, my mouth is like 
like, I keep going like this and then ends up like somebody coming in the front. I'm like, I told you to go in the back. Like, what are you doing in the front, buddy? It's like, I want to stay in the front. I just want to be in the front. I'm like, no, you can't stay in the front because I don't want to eat you. And then it's like, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm taking these jewelries off because you don't want to put moisturization on these jewelries uh, just because they're not meant for that. They're not like, you know, all gold of uh, 24K type of deal. It's just, you know, painted gold. And I wouldn't recommend it anyway. Even if you have jewelry, like ear jewelry, I don't recommend it to put it in the water and stuff like that. Moisturization can make it, you know, even if it's real, it can hurt it. So the more it grows, the more I don't like it. What? Get like down, the more I hate it down. But later on, I look back to, you know, maybe a month ago or six months ago or so. I'm like, I should have rocked my hair down because it looked dope. So I know that right now I'm not grateful, but later on I'll be like, this is dope. I should have rocked it like this or something like that. I know myself now way too well. <laughs> but I have two Congos actually in my hair, so that's what I'm be finding right now. And then uh, I'm gonna comb that out completely. Before we go any further, I had actually JS Merch Shop send me some really good smelling oil that I will be showing you guys today. And also for a lucky winner uh, of the best comment, I'll be giving out a discount code to get it for free on his website. Uh, so make sure you guys are commenting some banger comments. This is the package that it came in. I love the silkiness of it. I opened it and this is the bottle it came with. It's a really dope logo. I love the logo. I love the way it looks. It has coconut oil, grape seed oil, peppermint oil, tea tree oil, rosemary oil, Y Lang, Lang Lang oil, I believe. And these are the things that come inside of this. As you guys can see, the bottle is well put together. I love the sticker. I love the logo. People ask me a lot of times what I moisturize my, like, you know, my scalp or my hair with. I usually tell them uh, I just shampoo my hair and that's about it like literally that's all I do and also I have my ACV rinse every you know two three months uh, the reason because it figured out recently actually because I used to use a lot of different oils growing up and I still struggle with dandruff I figured out that my hair actually produced my scalp actually produced a lot of oil a lot of natural oil to where it becomes like it comes out and it dries up that's why my hair grows a lot faster than a lot of normal people also it's because of the oil that my hair produces and that's why I, I'm attacked with a lot of dandruff so it's not really a bad thing sometimes well it's bad in general to have dandruff but sometimes you got to figure out a cause of it and from there like to kind of like say it is bad or not so right now I'm not upset about it anymore you know I used to be like what the heck like I put oil this oil that oil tea tree oil rosemary <laughs> whatever it is I put in so many things and it didn't help me out I just decided not to use anything anymore but of course I'm gonna be giving this a shot also to see what kind of effect it has on my head so if you guys have a good comment down below I'll be giving out a free code to go get you a free oil and it smells so good So now let's get back to what I'm talking about trying to find the Congo now, I've never combed out a lock before so give me a break guys I know my locks are thinning out. I don't know if you guys seen it It's because of the retwist and also the styles that I've been doing whenever you're doing styles and retwists a lot of retwists You know the drill locks of course they start to get more tighter and more tighter and more tighter They mature in that way in a way too so i'm not really tripping about it some people are like bro you're here but i'm getting a lot of growth also so that can contribute to uh you know me having to do a lot of retwist i find in my congos right now usually they pop out out of nowhere finally found it guys for some reason i felt like it was a one dread i i can't believe this is how much growth that i've had from last time when i split it when i split it it was like really by my head literally Uh, and it's crazy how much has grown. Look at this. This is what Gunther the Great combined together, actually. Look how long these are. Like, I can't even recognize it. It's like so different. But we're gonna start combing out these locks, man. I've done this before. I might end up going and watch uh, some of Gunther the Great's video when he combed out his. If I can't, you know, if I can't get it. But <laughs> I think this is a good start, man. I know people, I've seen people do it with some crochet needles also. It's like they go in and then they just go. But it's like I'm already getting so much loss of hair. <laughs> like that literally, literally that whole thing is cut off right there. This is how I learned to trial and error, you know. 
you know, I can tell my hair is pretty dead just because of, uh, you know, the amount of bleach that I've applied previously. And so I can just tell it's kind of like, yeah, man, we're not here. We just look like we're here, but we're actually gone. So that's what it's looking like right now. I don't know if I want to comb out all the way to the roots because then my, if I end up, you know, locking them up, it'll be really skinny. Oh, wow. Look at that. It's a progress already. It's a good start. And my arm hurts already, man. I'm like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> I don't know how you can just sit down and just do it for like, you know, days. That's how long it usually takes people to comb out their hair. I'm gonna put more water. This is what I'm talking about, man. This sprayer is a beast. I already lost so much hair. Like, what the heck? Am I cutting my hair or am I combing out my hair? You tell me. Like I said, my hair is pretty dead. Like. That I know already. This is this is the old connection right here. This is what my hair looked like inside it. I'm about to split it open. That's the inside right there. And the outside looks like this right now so far. What I'm doing is what I'm learning is when I see a knot, I go with this, this end and just unravel it. Oh yeah, my wife doesn't know that I'm combing out my hair. Let me freak her out. I'm just combing out my dreads. That looks painful. No, it's not painful actually. It's just, uh, no, it just looks hair. painful. It looks painful too. Yeah, I mean, my hair is gone. Oh no, my love. My hair is done. I'm combing oh. out my whole dreads. Your curls. Look, my hair about to look like this when I come back. Whenever you simulated the whole hair. Mm, poor curls. What? Poor curls. What, what do you mean? Look like electrocuted. <laughs> yeah, that's true. All right guys, out of one hair, I got all of this. This is one hair. This is one, just a piece of, a piece of my hair. Not even a whole dread. The whole thing is gone, literally. This is all to say that don't dye your hair, bleach your hair if you're gonna comb out your hair. If you're gonna dye and bleach it, let it lock up for the rest of your life because all the hair is dead. They're gone. I feel bad. I don't want to like be too sad about it because uh, I know that I've had a long and good run with this dreads. Before I say anything else, let me just combine this and then I'm going to finish what I'm saying, okay? I cannot, I cannot continue. If I continue all the way down, man, my whole hair, I would have no hair. He's coming out of this, this root right here. So I'm just going to keep this and uh, lock it up and I'm going to finish my sentence, all right? So stay tuned. Man, I love my dreads as everybody should love theirs. One of the things that I know when I did it that it was unreversible is when I bleached my hair uh, more than like, I think three times. That's when I knew it was kind of like 
Okay, buddy. Don't try to reverse back because there is no way going back. Especially if I try to comb it out or anything. Of course, the metal comb is a little bit tough on my hair. Of course, it will snatch out more hair. I should get. I should use the other comb that I showed you guys. If you guys ever think about combing out, use. Don't use the metal combs, man. <laughs> like use it to like you know unravel the hard parts, but to comb it out completely, use something that's plastic, that's flexible, because it just snatched out my hair. Literally, that's what it did. For the most of my hair is already dead, and I couldn't even be gentle i wasn't even gentle with it so if i comb out my hair literally you're just gonna keep chopping down because of how dead it is how far back it is really from being reversible so don't do bleaching your hair or you know coloring your hair unless you're just gonna continue that route for the rest of your life or till you cut it or so but if you're actually thinking about combing out your dress in the future or you know having your hair back long hair type of style then do not do not bleach your hair i repeat don't bleach your hair man maybe the tips uh, you know some parts that you can just cut and not feel bad not feel too bad about it that's my greatest advice from two years of having dreads having three different colors and then now about to go on my fourth color Ooh, spoiler alert for those of you guys that have a fuzzy dreads this is like literally an easy fix that i'm showing you guys even right now what i do is i you know twist them to get them you know aligned with everything and then while i'm twisting them just pull them from one end to the other end it's not too hard to do guys if you guys have struggle with the freezy on um, palm rub actually that's what this is called where you get your drill locks all in here needs some work i can tell grab the crochet needle i almost can see you know the split of it but now it's my job to combine it from one end to another end by pulling it in and that's what i'm gonna do in between my fingers right here looks like i'm covering it but i'm doing the same thing that i just showed you right here pulling the hair in, pulling the hair in. finding some hair pulling them in I look like one dread right like it looked like i never even had a condo <sighs> too much skill but you know what i'm saying i'm not a lactation or anything like that guys this is what came out of my hair and that's a little bit of dread so if i think about it if i comb out my whole dreads i would literally have a ball of hair like this so i don't know if i want to comb out my dreads man should i though i don't know though. should i though i may though next video though